STATES LIKE TEXAS AND ARIZONA ARE WELCOMING A POPULATION SURGE AS THEY RECOVER ALL JOBS LOST SINCE THE BEGINNING OF THE PANDEMIC. BUT FOR CALIFORNIA, THE MASS EXODUS MIGHT SOON GET WORSE. STATE LAWMAKERS ARE CONSIDERING A PROPOSAL THAT COULD DOUBLE THEIR ALREADY HIGH TAXES, INCREASING THE BURDEN ROUGHLY BY $12,000 PER HOUSEHOLD. OUR NEXT GUEST MOVED HIS ENTIRE COMPANY FROM CALIFORNIA TO TEXAS LAST YEAR. REX FOUNDER AND CEO Peter Rex joins us now. Good morning, Peter. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Good morning. You're welcome. Thanks for coming on. So how do you like Texas and why did you move? Well, we moved and we summarized it as for faith, family, and freedom. And we love it, really enjoying it. Our, you know, the spouses of our executives, myself, my wife, my kids, we're all really enjoying it. We're loving it here. We love the freedoms. Well, Peter, what about the fact that apparently in California to pay for the single payer health care where everybody in the state, whether you're in the country legally or illegally, would get health care. To do that, they've got to raise hundreds of billions of dollars. And to do that, they would essentially double people's taxes, people who pay taxes. Um, don't you think that if that passes, people are just going to head for the exits and move to Arizona or Nevada or go north or go to Texas or go to Florida or go any place else but California. Absolutely, and they're, they're already moving, right? I mean, you, they're already on their way out. You're just going to kick them out. You're, you're going to catalyze that movement even more by these types of maneuvers. And what I'd say about this, and, and the point I'd make, is that the taxes are an important issue, but far, far more important is the, the affront to human freedom, the ability for someone to mm -hmm. be able to choose their own health care and instead of the government trying to take control of that, that's the biggest issue. I'm a family man, you know, I'm a CEO, tech entrepreneur, but I'm also a family man first and foremost. I've got four kids and a wife. And if I'm out in, that, if I'm out in California right now, I'm thinking that's my first concern is being able to choose their health care. And a government like California, the same government that can't really get its roads correct, it can't even keep the streets clean. You've got people literally, I remember yeah. in San Francisco walking around with my wife and you literally see people, you know, defecate in the streets. And this is something, you know, talk to people in San Francisco, they'll tell you. And this government, the same government is now proposing to take control of your health care. I mean, that's, that's crazy talk. That's insane. You know, and there's such a school staffing shortage in certain areas of California. Now they're enlisting parents to come in and do roles like uh, food services, custodial work, office assistance, classroom support. They're also asking the high schoolers if they have a free time, free moment in their schedule. They're eligible to do this, too. This is Palo Alto Unified School District, and the superintendent posted this video online recruiting the parents. What's your reaction? I mean, credit to the parents for stepping up, right? But shame on the government for not being able to keep the, the schools open. I mean, that's a fundamental human need, right, is to keep the schools open, not just for the kids, but also for the sake of the parents, right? I mean, you need to keep those schools open, and they're not doing it. And this, ironically, is the same government that is proposing that it's going to now take control of your health care as well. So these two issues are, are interconnected, right? And they're both, they're, they're ludicrous if you think about it. Here in Texas, I talked to a few of my executives, and between us, we've had, we have like 20 kids or something, right? So we love having kids in our company. But, you know, when, we, when I talked to them about their schooling situation, from what I understand, none of the schools have closed here. So why are they closing the schools in California? Why can't the government keep the schools open? Yeah, good question. And that's why in Palo Alto, 700 parents said, hey, don't close the schools. We'll come work in the cafeteria so that our kids get an education. And that is what they're doing right now. Peter Rex, uh, nobody knows more about California and now Texas than you, sir. Thank you very much for getting up and getting on Fox and Friends on this Wednesday morning with us. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a great day, everybody.